Hi everybody, I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV here in Round Rock, Texas, and today I'm going to show you around the Retro 225 FKS by Riverside RV. Now, this retro style trailer, don't let it fool you, it's very uh, vintage on the outside, but on the inside you have the option to have that vintage look or to have a more modern decor. This one has the modern decor and it's called maple interior. Uh, it's got a great floor plan. It has a big wraparound kitchen in the front, slide out dinette, two entry doors, a spacious bathroom. I'll show you all the details. Now before we get started, I'll tell you it's 26 foot, eight inches long, weighs 5,400 pounds, and you can expect to pay probably less than 25,000 for this trailer, depending on the options. All right, well, I'll remind you, subscribe to our channel. We try to show you a new trailer every week. Uh, but let's just go inside and take a look at the 225 RKS. Coming into this trailer, the first thing you'll notice is the open feel of this living area. And that's true with a lot of the trailers that are designed with the kitchen wrapping across the front. It just makes the space more open, more usable. All right, well, let's start over here by the door. Right to the left as you come in the door on the front, that's the living area, you've got the monitor system right here showing you the levels of the fresh, black and gray, and you've got 36 gallons in fresh water, 30 gallons gray, 30 gallons black, so nice sized tanks. The exterior light switch, and then interior lights right here in the living room, water heater, water pump, and then the two switches for not only the electric slide out, but the electric awning, all right here. You'll notice right underneath there is a solar charger and there's not a button here, there's not anything you need to do, it's simply access. Now what this does is it connects and controls the 50 watt solar panel on the roof. And that is standard when you get the 12 volt refrigerator that I'll show you in just a second. So right here next to it is the thermostat. Now that is for the air conditioner and the furnace. The air conditioner in here is a ducted air. It's 13.5 BTU, so gonna cool this trailer very nicely. Uh, when it's ducted, it seems to be a little quieter as well. So if noise bothers you, that's a plus. The ducted furnace is a 30,000 BTU, and that's going to really take the chill off in really cold weather in this trailer. So plenty of heat and air for this trailer. Now uh, down below is the converter. Now that's going to convert that shore power to the 12 volt, but it's also going to contain right here in front the breakers and the fuses, all labeled for you. Uh, and heat duct right here next to it. All right, let's start over here at the kitchen. Microwave at the top, the vent hood is gonna have lights and a fan. I like the sleek design that Furion uses. The glass top on the three burner stove, great if you need more counter space, very easy to clean. But what I like about it is it very simply folds up and just gets out of the way. And then you fold it right back down when you're done. Now the knobs on the front are gonna light these burners without a match. They have a sparker on them, as well as a sparker for the oven. So no match or log lighter needed on this stove and oven. There is also a light right behind the knobs. Gives you a little bit of a night light there. Let's take a look in here. and drawer underneath. The drawer underneath has got about seven inches of depth in it. It's a nice size drawer if you have pots and pans, some larger items that maybe need to fit down in here, generally what it's used for. And let's take a look over here at the very front of the trailer. 
I love this white one-piece countertop. It's made to look kind of like a whitewashed wood, although it is a composite and there's no seams in it where the water can get in. Great feature and look at the counter space. Right up here on the back of this microwave, they've got a cubby that's open. Probably not gonna travel really well with things up here, but uh, maybe towels, something like that would, but great storage space because you always want things to be handy when you're uh, camping and cooking. Now right up here in the corner, not only do they have this great light, but there is another 120 volt plug right here for appliances or anything else that you'd put back there in that corner. Big farmhouse undermount stainless steel sink. Nice high faucet here, so no problem putting a really big pot or maybe water bottles underneath to fill them. You do have a big window right in front. Now this window doesn't open. It's on the front of the trailer and it has a rock guard on it that's closed right now. You can kind of see the light coming through. Every window in this trailer is going to have a pleated shade. Get my fingers on it here, pull it down, and it's gonna act as a blackout shade as well. Now, um, let's take a look at the storage underneath. You do have a shelf here in the middle and you, the pipe is in the middle of it, so you always wanna be careful of that, but quite a bit of space right here. Underneath, when you go about six inches in, it starts to curve up because the front of this trailer has a curve on it. So that takes a bit out of the back of this cabinet on the bottom, but you never wanna waste any space when you're looking at storing in a trailer. So they used every bit of that. All right, next to that is a bank of drawers. Drawers are such a great use of space, easy access. They're about four inches deep, so they're not terribly deep. Uh, they're about uh, 12 inches long, but this is plenty for silverware or some smaller items. Three drawers here and then a large pantry. Each cabinet has two shelves in it. This one has the extra paperwork and this is the feet for the TV. Now these are almost two feet deep. Again, there's a curve on the front, but a ton of storage space in here. Underneath, you'll find a 120 volt outlet. That might be really useful if you needed to work with a computer at the table or if you wanted to bring it around and put something on the countertop. Okay. The other thing that we haven't talked about that kind of goes with the kitchen is on the other side and that's the refrigerator. Let's take a look. Now the refrigerator is a 12 volt refrigerator. It's compressor driven, so it's a little different than what you're used to in the standard RV refrigerators. The best part, it's 10 cubic foot. That's huge. Why? Because it can go all the way to the outer wall. You don't have to have that coil behind it that you have in most RV refrigerators. Now, the worry is often that you won't have enough 12 volt power. If you're plugged in at a campsite, no problem. Your converter does the trick, keeps this going strong. Remember, you also get a 50 watt solar panel on the roof to keep your battery charged if you're not plugged in. Now, you may need just a little bit more solar power to keep this going, but it's very efficient and uses only a fraction of what you would need to, to run a regular 12 volt refrigerator. The best part, it cools in two hours. All right, there's one thing a bit awkward I found about this refrigerator that I know some of you will notice, and that is when it opens in this direction, if you're taking something out of the refrigerator, you kind of have to get around the door to go over to the kitchen. Now, these Furion refrigerators, you can change the way the door opens pretty easily. So if you would like for it to open the other direction so that it opens this way, it's an easier access to and from the kitchen. However, the reason I believe that Riverside didn't do that is because when you open this way, it is only gonna be at a 90 degree angle because it's gonna hit this cabinet right here. So be aware of that. Personally, I think I might be okay with that just for easier access from the kitchen. You may have other thoughts, but you can ask the dealer to switch it if you decide that you'd like it a different way. All right, now 
You've got down underneath this is the intake for the furnace. That's all that is down there. No working parts. While we're here, let's look up. The 13.5 air conditioner here that's ducted and you have a speaker here for the Furion I'll show you in a minute and another speaker right there. You can see the AC ducts up at the top and then down in the cabinetry is where you'll see the heat ducts. All right, across from the refrigerator, the slide out has this nice size dinette. This dinette is 42 inches wide and over six and a half feet long when you make it down into a bed. Great U-shaped seating here, really nice size table. If you have two people at the dinette that are both working on computers, uh, or you sit down with a group of people to play a game, you're just not gonna be worried about the table space. It's not cramped at all. Um, there is another piece to this. There is a section right back here between the two bench seats uh, that comes out and you could, if you wanted, use it as like an ottoman because it's freestanding. It's an interesting touch for those that might find that useful. Now the table's pretty sturdy. It is a two pole table. So you're not gonna have any movement or any wiggle if you use the table to stand up. Give it a little push. I like having the two pedestals. It's really nice. I really like the flush lighting at the top as well. Nothing comes down in your way and a huge window across the back. Great ventilation with the screen here. Windows on both sides. Great airflow in this and a nice open living space. Underneath, you've also got more storage. So these cabinets down here go the full length of the dinette and, you know, on both sides, more great storage. Now, if you're sitting at the dinette, you've got the entertainment setter kind of at an angle facing you here. Nice 32 inch flat screen television. Now this is a fixed screen. It doesn't come out and swivel to face different directions, but it's at a very good angle for the dinette. Underneath the Furion Bluetooth stereo, it's AM, FM. It's got the uh, HDMI cable, you know, everything that you would need in there, Bluetooth capable. Two speakers here and two speakers outside so you can play at either place. I like the little storage cubbies they've got on both sides and then all across the top. Down below, the cabinet storage. This trailer really has quite a bit of storage. I've been really impressed with that. Now, let's head back this direction. We've got two entries into the bathroom and a really nice walk around bed. Now I like the fact that this is a standard door, both coming into the bedroom and coming into the bathroom from the living room. It isn't a sliding door, a folding door, just a good solid door with a light switch right as you walk in. Curved wall right here just helps it to feel easy to move around. And I did notice that there is more space around this walk around bed than a lot of others that we've seen. So down here, you've got 16 inches between the wall and the bed. Now that doesn't sound like much, but often manufacturers will do 12, maybe 10, even eight inches and call it a walk around bed. Pretty easy to move around here. That's nice. Now the mattress, it's a, it's an RV queen, so it's not a standard queen like in your house. It's the same width, which is 60 inches, but it's 76 inches long. And they've taken the liberty of cutting off the corners at the bottom edge just a little bit because it makes for walking around a little easier. All right, let's talk about the cabinetry and the storage in the bedroom. Both sides are identical. Hanging cabinet here, and of course you could put shelves in there if you wanted. It is open all the way across the top. But the cabinet door right here is the only access on this side and one on the other side. But keep in mind, it is open behind this cabinet as one giant space back here. That might be really helpful if you had to fit some pillows or some larger items in there. Uh, 
Very nice to use all the storage space that you can. Now, if you had something that you wanted to put right next to the bed here, there is a flat space, but when you open this cabinet door, you've only got about two inches clearance, so it can't be very tall, maybe a book. If you had anything else, a CPAP machine, um, a clock, a, you know, your phone chargers, anything else, might be nice to put right back here because at the head of the bed, behind these hanging closets, is a shelf with uh, two shelves, actually, an upper shelf, and then if you go down, there's another little space to put things. Now, that might even be useful for clothing. So, a great space. And what you're seeing back here is actually a wallboard, but it sure warms up the space with that kind of reclaimed wood look. 120 watt on both sides of the bed. And right here on the right, what you're seeing is a charging port for a Furion Bluetooth speaker. Now the speaker doesn't come with the trailer, but they wire that in in case you wanted to purchase the speaker because there are no speakers in the bedroom of this unit. And by having that there, you could, of course, you know, Bluetooth to your phone or anything else, but you could also pick it up, take it outside to the, under the awning, take it, you know, wherever you want to go. So it adds some more versatility to having music. Now we looked up that Bluetooth speaker on Amazon. The cost on it is about $110 to $120. Uh, the plate is already there. All you need to do is purchase the Bluetooth speaker if you wanted that. Now on the other side, you've got the entry door to the outside. This actually makes the bathroom and bedroom feel like its own little space here. Um, like I said, there's plenty of walk around room, windows on both sides. There is a vent up top, so if you wanted to put a fantastic vent up there to have a lot of airflow in here, you could do that. This entrance door really makes this feel separate. Now, there's one more storage space, and it's right underneath the bed. Let's take a look. It's got a gas prop, so it's going to hold this open for you. And you'll see there's a very large open space in the bottom half of the bed here. All right. Heading into the bathroom from here is a sliding door because that makes it very easy to open and close this door and it stays completely out of the way. All right, it does have a magnet too to hold it closed once you get all the way over. So it, you don't have a, a little latch to mess with. Okay, let's head on in. Now the bathroom, really, it's a walkthrough bathroom, but it feels really comfortable space-wise. I like the large counter space you've got over here. You know, whenever you see a large counter space like this, that always means great storage underneath. You've got a full space underneath and above on the right side. On the left side, there is uh, some gear actually underneath there, so you get half the space on the bottom, but a full cabinet up here. And like all the other spaces that we've seen in this trailer, it does go all the way through. You do have some plumbing under here, but not bad. So that's a great feature in here. Now this is the same countertop that you have in the kitchen. It has the whitewashed look. Great space on both sides with the 120 plug right here on the right. Smaller white rectangular plastic sink, but yeah, yeah I think it does the trick. Up above, more storage, medicine cabinet style. You've got two shelves right here. And again, this goes all the way through in here. Now, the one thing I did notice in here, there is not a mirror in this bathroom anywhere. So I might recommend putting a mirror maybe right here in this center space. Uh, you could also put one on a door, but that would make this bathroom a little better for me. Across from the sink, you've got the toilet kind of wedged in the corner here between the two doors. You know, at first I thought this might be a little awkward, but it actually isn't. Very easy to walk around it, and when the doors are shut, you've got plenty of elbow room on both sides. That's a great feature. Now, across you've got the shower, 
Let's take a look. Now this corner shower is at the end of the countertop here, but it really doesn't feel cramped getting in and out. It does have a skylight at the top for the extra headroom, and the molded piece on the back has got two shelves in it. So you've got space for shampoo, anything else that you want to leave in the shower. The glass doors open and close easily, so you don't have to worry about any water getting in and out. Very functional. Now before we finish up in here, I want to point out that there's a fantastic vent in the ceiling. Great in a bathroom to kind of move the air around, vent out all the steam from the shower. Two lights, which makes it really bright in here, which I appreciate. And just a really workable space. As you come into the living area, another solid door right here, which blocks off this bathroom bedroom suite. Okay. Well, I think we've shown you the inside. Let's take a look at the outside. Okay. Before I show you the details on the outside, let's talk briefly about the construction. This trailer has an Aluma cage construction, which means it's an aluminum frame. Also, you might want to look for this sticker right here that says radiant barrier installed in this unit. That is extra insulation that keeps it cool in the summer and warm in the winter. Gives you that extra layer of insulation when they're actually building it. They do powder coat the frame underneath and it's a TPO roof. So lots of great features about how this trailer is built. Now the step right here, you do have a three step that folds up and you notice there's adjustable legs on the bottom. That's a great feature in case you're not on flat terrain. Makes for a very solid step and the swing out handle right by the door. Now, because this goes into the kitchen, this is probably the more used door um, because they don't have this swing out handle on the rear. But you can always ask your dealer if you wanna add it. It can be done at the dealership really easily. Right behind that, the 30,000 BTU furnace gonna keep this trailer toasty. An electric plug for all those exterior things you might want to plug in right out here underneath your awning. This is the freshwater fill right here to fill your water tank. You have a 36 gallon freshwater tank, 30 gallon gray and 30 gallon black. Now, 14 inch tires and you notice they have the wonderful baby moon hubcaps on them. I love that vintage look and a black tank flush. This is where you would hook up your hose if you wanted to clean out your black tank when you're dumping it. Um, if you have any questions, you can always ask your dealer about that. But this is a really nice feature. If you are trying to keep that black tank really clean, most people recommend flushing out your tank every four or five uses. Make sure you flush it really good for five or 10 minutes. Get it real clean. All right. On the steps in the rear, they also have the feet on them. I think that's a nice feature. And you have the standard handle by the back door. Now, this awning, it is a 20-foot awning with the light bar on it. Stick around. We're going to show you at the very end what it looks like when you open the awning. All right. Compartment right here on the rear. Little clip to hold this door open. And there is a light in here. It's got a push button right in the middle of it to turn it on and off. And you'll notice there's two handles in there already. One of them is for the stabilizer jacks right underneath. You've got those in all four corners. The other one would be for uh, the electric jack on the tongue. Now, right underneath here, you will find the uh, gas port. That is if you wanted to set up a gas grill right out here. It would be at the edge of your awning. That's where you'll usually find these gas ports so that you don't have your grill underneath the awning. So this is a great place to have maybe your own outdoor kitchen set up. Okay, a lot of space in here. It does pass through all the way. It's wider on this side than it is on the other because of the configuration under the bed. But yeah, great storage in the back of this trailer. Four inch bumper, so you can always look at putting a sewer hose in here if you wanted. LED tail lights, 
Now your spare tire is right underneath in the back. Um, that is a really nice feature, how they have it tucked in under there. It isn't really low, but what it does is it makes it easily accessible if you need it, if you have a flat tire on the road. They are all pre-wired for a rear camera. So you can see that Curion pre-wire right up there. All right, right here is the plug-in if you wanted to add an exterior solar panel. Now, there are different types of plugs here. Uh, if your solar panel has a different plug on it, you can get an adapter uh, off Amazon for, uh, I don't know, $10, $20, not much at all. Uh, so don't let that plug fool you. Any outdoor uh, solar panel that folds out can fit there. You do have the option to do up to 200 watt solar panels on the roof from the factory. So you could add another one if you wanted. This is just an extra port in case you wanted a portable one on the ground. Satellite or cable TV connection right here on the back. License plate holder on the corner. Now let's come around and take a look at this storage bin from the other side. Now if you look in, there's a light right here. A little narrower on this side, but still great access for carrying all your gear under here. Six gallon water heater and your electrical plug in right here, 30 amp plug. Let's look underneath. Your sewer hose connection is right behind the wheels here and they color code the handles black and gray. So it's very easy to dump your black tank and then your gray tank, always the best way to do it to keep your hose clean. Now I know I mentioned the baby moons, but what I didn't mention, which you probably have already noticed, those white walls giving it the nice vintage look and the painted rims. These are 14 inch tires here. Let's move up in front of the slide. Now in front of the slide is the outside shower. You have the handheld right here, and of course the hot and cold water, and the city water connection right there. So if you're gonna hook up to the hydrant and not fill the tank like the entry on the other side, you just hook up right here by the shower, you're good to go. I like the nice window up here in the kitchen and the rock guard that opens and closes, just like the retro trailers. Diamond plate right here on the front as a rock guard. Now this does come with two propane tanks. These are five gallon, 20 pound tanks and the ability to put two batteries right here on the front. Electric jack and on the other side, let's take a look. They build in a little clip for maybe safety, maybe a dog leash right here on the side. Back around to the front. I think it's time for us to show you the awning. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. I love the vintage feel on the outside of this trailer. And on the inside, it's so modern with every convenience. If you have a question that maybe we didn't answer in this video, I know we miss some things occasionally, let me know. We will be glad to answer them as quickly as we can. And until next time, thanks for watching. See you then.